Hello, my filthy little sinners, and welcome to Killer Frequency, another horror game. I know it's 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 uh it's so shocking that I'm playing another horror game. I don't ever play horror games. It's not like it's one of my favorite genres. Okay, movement, move with yeah. Okay, that's normal video game stuff. Well, uh, throw object. This is a perfectly good beer. Why am I throwing it away? Okay, what else? Uh -huh. Um, I will admit, I have seen Jinj play a little bit of this game. In fact, I applied for the key for this game because I saw that it, that she'd played it and she said that it was on key, ma key mailer. And I was like, fuck yeah, I want to play that. Uh, oh, to begin inspecting. Crouch. Mm, I don't like how silent everything is. I should close this behind me. Oh shit, hold on. Fuck. That works. I wish I could lock it. Ah. Ah. Hello? Babadook's gonna get you. I don't think that's the Babadook. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello? Hi? Oh, I like your fishnet gloves. Uh, okay. Not much for small talk. <laughs> He's not much for small talk. I'm hungry, by the way, so whenever you get back, I need food. Uh, I don't know. You, uh... What do you mean? You hear something, Peggy? Huh? Hear what? I uh, thought I heard someone yelling there. I don't know. I don't know. We how? don't have chips to so have a peanut butter a and joke? jelly. No, I, I almost swore I heard something. Oh. And here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up. Mm, you probably just heard some we have cats tomato outside. Soup? Cats. You know, four legs, whiskers, tails, not dogs. <laughs> I know what a cat it, is. Oh great, Does the red knights are setting off fireworks. Cat problem or something? <laughs> not since That's the rats shit. moved in. Anyway, you ready to do the pre-flight checks? Seriously, do we have to do these checks oh, every time? And made the goal. Do you have to call them that? Reggie pays us to check the equipment before each show, Fuck shit. and he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. But if you're sure you don't want oh, to... damn. Uh, sure, I can have that with some grilled cheese whenever you get back. Eee. Let's do All the right, checks. Fine. Let's get through this. Alrighty, this is your captain speaking. Okay. Really? Love. Come on, let's have a bit of fun with it for once. Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubular rent. Oh my god. Let's start with record playing. <sighs> okay. Grab a record, stick it on the player, and hit play. Um, late night uh, lurkers. Forrest, you need to grab a record and stick it on the turntable. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm sticking the record. The record box is on the left, and the record player is on the right. Take I... the record and stick it on the turntable. Then oh, there we play. go. Hold on. Got it. Now turn it off. What? I just started, though. Okay, fine. Whatever. All right. Up next phone line buttons. Your captain will be waiting to take your call on line one. Oh yeah, this this music uh, sounds uh, All like right, sexy. Peggy, ready for you on line one. Who's Peggy? This is Captain Donald Key calling. Oh my call god, shut the fuck up. You get it? Yeah, it's a riot. Great, and button two works just the same. Let's move to the Peggy button. You mean the producer line? Damn. Like I said, the Peggy button. Press it when you need my help during the show. Hmm. Is there a Peggy mute button? They haven't invented it yet. Now come on. The Peggy button is the third one on the phone line. I labeled it for you. Point. <sighs> Press for Peggy. This is your brain, Forrest. Sorry I made you such an unfun turkey. I'm well, a turkey now, am I? Okay. Are we almost done? <laughs> Sound blaster next. Uh, sound blaster. There we go. Always good for a cheap laugh. All right, we're almost done. Just the volume sliders left. These should let you affect pretty much everything. But let's test it with a record. Play a record and change the volume with the music slider. Uh, I've already been doing all that. Right. Wee woo Seems wee to be all wee working. Wee we wee. done, Captain? <laughs> we sure are. Coming in for landing. Local time. I uh, should not encourage you. I knew you had a fun side. It's my fun side that gets me in trouble. Now, let's get the show started. After your introduction, our first segment... 
is guess that scream. I thought that was a joke. Nope, and don't blame me for this one. It's written all the way, and he's going to do it tonight. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Uh, I want... But I want to... I want to go look around. Damn. Okay, you're live in three... Two. 189.16 The Scream Good evening, Gallows Creek. This is your host, Forrest Nash, and you're listening to 189.16 The Scream. Before we start taking your calls tonight on Gallows Creek's only late-night phone-in talk show, I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. Guess that scream. This is actually one of the station manager's better ideas. Here's how it works. I'm going to play you a scream, then you call and guess that scream. We need you to guess why they're screaming. Did they stub their toe, saw off a finger, or discover the corpse of a loved one? That's good. Now, Forrest, hit them with the tape. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. Peggy, what do you mean play the tape? I used to have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Damn. You're in Gallows Creek. You get to be your own tape guy. I gave it to you yesterday. Uh, is it over here? The tape right. I knew we were doing this tonight. Peggy, guess that scream is a terrible idea. I don't have the tape. It Damn. It would be a stupid idea, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. We're going to need a scream tonight, Forrest. And you're the one at the mic, so... I hate what I've become. I used to go out all across America, and now I'm just screaming into a mic in a backwater town. Come on, Forrest, just do it! That's enough dead air already. Just think of a scream and let it rip. Oh, God. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. I had to step away there for a second. Listen close and then call in to guess that scream. Uh, I'm gonna do the drowning <laughs> scream. <laughs> well, folks, there you have it. Call in with your guesses, and if you get it right, you could win two tickets to the amazing Maze Maze and one free fried dough. Fried dough? Fried dough. Good Just donut? call in at 555-239-KFAM with your guest. Now, here's some music while you get dialing. Oh, God, Forrest, that was amazing. <laughs> Thanks. I can't wait to hear what people think that was. How the hell did I get into this mess? Lighten up, Forrest. That's gonna be the highlight of my week. Damn. Oh, Forrest, there's a call coming in. Time to turn the music off. Okay. I would hate if my music was interrupted in the middle Welcome of the shit. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream. Caller, you're talking to Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest, thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. Uh, slow night? Well, Leslie, I guess it must be a slow night for crime if you've got time to call in. What can we do for you? Slow night? Forrest, I found a body. Oh. I need help. Forrest, Look. I recognize her voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. I think this is real. Peggy, I'm not gonna be happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. Damn. Forrest, I really don't think this is a prank. Uh, call the sheriff? Leslie, if you're telling the truth, you should report this to the sheriff. What was his name? Sheriff Andrews or whatever? I'm at the sheriff's office right now. Wait, what? Sheriff Matthews is dead. <gasps> what? Sheriff Rip Matthews is dead? I couldn't get any response from the department. That's never happened before, so I came to the station and I found him. Oh. God, poor Sheriff Matthews. Fuck, dude. Do you know what happened to him? Someone got him. Someone got up very close, and I really don't want to say what they did to him. Did he fight back? I don't know. I think he tried. Surrounded by bullet casing, I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but... Um, is there anyone else at the station? Well, is, is anyone else at the station? Anyone who can help you? Or, or who might be responsible? No. I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here. But she's knocked out, tied up, and locked in a holding cell. I called you right after I found her. God, please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't be ridiculous. We have three. <laughs> we have three. Officer Gunderson is on leave in Cancun. Leslie, do you have any idea who could have done this? It's not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. I tried. 
but I can't call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. I'll have to go there myself, let them know what's going on, and bring help back with me. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, who's gonna man the emergency line? That's why I called. Forrest, I've routed all 911 calls to come into you. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. You can count on me. Uh, I'll do what I can. Thank you, Forrest. You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around here. You're the only person equipped for the job. Besides, there are lots of transferable skills between the two. It's like an interview. You ask questions to get information you can use. Mm -hmm. Keep people talking, you know? Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. You do okay. know that I'm so good at interviews. They sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? So I've heard. But that doesn't matter. And besides, there are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas, Fuck. work together. Yeah, I'm being well, so serious about this right now. Job training right now. I have an emergency. I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No, there aren't any bars to the cell. And the door itself only has a food tray slot. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. There's gotta be another way in. Um, most, most, uh, sheriff offices have, um, like a box with, like, all of the keys in it. Um, find another set of keys. There's gotta be another set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the only one. Of course. Yes, there must be another set. Where might another set be? Uh, check Sheriff Matthews? Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on him when he... I couldn't see any at a glance, but I didn't really look up close. Oh, I think I might be sick. Sorry, Sheriff. I mean, he doesn't care. He's fucking dead, dude. I'm just gonna turn you over and... Please don't stare at me. Close his eyes. You just do the I... little thing, right? Oh, wait. That might be them. I, I, th I think I got the cell keys. Looks like Sheriff Matthews might have saved his deputy. Do the keys work? They do. Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. So far, so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? Um, I think we can handle this. Yeah, that seemed to go okay. Maybe Leslie was right. Maybe we can handle this 911 business. That's the spirit, Forrest. I think you're right. Though, I have to say, I, well, I really hope this is the only call like this we get. Oh god, Same. you know we won't. Come on, Martinez. There we go. Just gonna sit you in your office chair. We'll head to my car in a minute. I'm back. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. Mm -hmm. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. Okay. That's a good idea. We don't want to take any risk right now. Thank you, Forrest. You and Peggy just worked together like you did earlier. You can do this. Now I'll be back as soon as I can. Ah. My car! My car is on fire! What do you mean it's on fire? How the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? What happened? Wait. Oh. What? It's no, the boy. No way. This can't. Well, Forrest, we have big trouble. Point. What's happening? Uh, what's that noise? It sounds like whistling. Whistling? It can't be. Oh my god. I can see him, but he's dead, right? Right? But that mask and how the hell is he? Who, Leslie? Who? The whistling man. The whistling man? Who's the whistling man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Wore that mask, but he's dead. He's what the hell? Oh, God. Do you think, do you think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? He's coming this way. Uh, lock Listen, the doors. Stay inside and lock the doors. Right. Shit, we need a new plan. My car is torched. We need to think. Um, take a police cruiser. There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Like, you should take one of those. Uh, yeah, that could work. Let me check if Martinez has any... Uh, I'll just reach into your pocket there, deputy, and... Yes, got him. Keys for squad car three. I saw that parked out front when I got here. Nice one, Forrest. Good thinking. But how am I supposed to get us to the car? The whistling man is right there. Mmm. Take deputy Martinez's gun? Deputy Martinez surely carries a gun, right? C could you use that? Deputy Martinez's gun is missing. I guess the whistling man must have done something with it. The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can, can you he see He used it? all the there bullets, though. So. Let me grab it. Yeah. I... Oh, he, she said that he was surrounded by shell he casings. He must have emptied it trying to defend himself. Is there a weapon lockup? There must be a weapon lockup in the station, right? Could you grab something from there? 
I saw it earlier, but as you might have guessed, it was locked. But maybe one of these keys I got earlier will help. No. No. No! Uh, shit! None of the keys work! Are, are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Um, uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's belt. All right. It looks like the whistling man left her with a baton, pepper spray, and taser. I can only hold one if I'm carrying Deputy Martinez. Which should I take? Um, uh, taser. I mean, it's got to be the taser, right? Got it. I'm just going to grab Deputy Martinez and then hear that? No. No. I, I can't hear anything. Exactly. It's gone quiet. We're knocking. Uh, be careful. Be careful. But it's an opening, and I've got to take it. Deputy Martinez, you can hear me. It's time to move. Just lean on me. <gasps> yep. What there are you go. Are you sure about this, <laughs> Leslie? No time like the present, right? Again, you're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. Okay. If I reach it. <sighs> Good luck. Good luck, Leslie. That's one brave woman. God, I hope she makes it through this. <sighs> you know, I've got to say, this really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. Well, they always say you have to be ready for everything in live radio. Oh, I think we've got Leslie back on the line. I'm putting the call through. Okay. Hello? Forrest? Peggy? This is Leslie. Are you there? Yep. Over. Uh, we're here. We're here, Leslie. So I, I guess you made it to the car then. Over. Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. But yes, we made it to the car. Deputy Martinez is in the passenger seat, still out cold. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. So I'm going to get us moving. Jesus! God damn it! Get, get back! Get away from her! Leslie, what's happening? The whistling! No! Get off her, you son of a bitch! Yeah, use the hey, taser. Yeah. Drive. Leslie, drive! Don't worry, Deputy Martinez. We're out of here. Hey, Zozo. <laughs> Leslie, are you two okay? Did you get away? Or Forrest, that taser, definitely the right call. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe we escaped. Well done, Leslie. <laughs> you saved a life. Just another day for you. Oh my god, oh my yeah. god Zoe. Well, let me tell you. Oh my god, you're such a baby. Side of the phone. Hmm? Leslie, how long do you think it's going to take to get help? Gallows Creek is a nowheresville, but it's pretty damn close. It's going to take a while. Maybe two, three hours each way. Get off the desk. Less if I put my foot down. Get off the desk. I'm helping people. You keep that pedal to the floor then. We'll see when you're back. You don't have to tell me twice. Anyway, once I'm in, I think Deputy Martinez is starting to stir. Forrest, Peggy, I've got to go. I'll be out of range soon. Okay, have fun. I'll be back as soon as I can once I got the cavalry. Okay. Have fun. Take care, Leslie. Be safe out there. Good luck, Leslie. Feel better soon, Deputy Martinez. Folks, you heard it here. We've got a killer on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. Please make sure to stay safe. We're counting on you. We're going to get back to the show, meanwhile. If you have anything on your mind or have any information about this Whistling Man character, then give us a call. We'll talk here on 189.16, The Scream. For now, here's another hit record for you all to enjoy. This is not what I signed up for, Peggy. This is actually insane. Did she really say it's gonna take her four hours? This guy's gonna kill half the town in four hours. Forrest, that's not helpful. I know, I know, I just... <sighs> Who is this Whistling Man character anyway? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Edward Marshall Mooney went around in a freaky mask, mm. whistling, and killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. No reason for Crying it. for no help. No motive. And he came back? And he's come back tonight? Probably not. Police chased him up to Ellis Point one night. We call it Whistling Point now. And it was, well, it was on this night, actually. The police cornered him, and he jumped into the river. His body was never found. So is he alive? Dead? I mean, what's the story? Story is, he's biding his time, waiting to take revenge on the town. All right, that's the story. What's the truth? Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight, I don't know. We'll do our best. Right. Copycat or ghost killer, I, I guess we'll do our best. That's the spirit! 
<sighs> at least we got the word out, I guess. What kind of listening figures do we get at this time? On a Thursday after midnight, could be around 35. 35? Isn't 3,500? Huh, I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that large. No, 35 people. Oof, 35 At people. Best. Oof. Uh, Eastside McCready Street will be closed from the 2nd to the 9th September for maintenance. Residents will be unable to access the connecting road between Rogers Avenue and Hard Haddonfield Road. Oh, Haddonfield. That's a nice little reference. Are you serious? We only have 35 listeners? 35, yeah. It's a school night. <sighs> And what's the population of Gallows Creek? I don't know exactly. A little over a thousand? Oh. How many did you get before, you know? Before my career exploded and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people? Yeah, before that. Around five for most shows on the low end? Big Gas could pump that up to 10, 15, easy. 5,000 on the low end? We could only dream of that. Five million. Million? Yeah, sometimes that's just the way it goes. At least the whistling man hasn't killed me yet. Yeah, I guess we're gonna learn a lot about perspective tonight, huh? Oh, we have a call coming in. Take it when you're ready. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Why? I like the music. Hello, caller. You're live on 189.16, The Scream. Is everything, uh, all right? Okay, uh, who is this? Are you, uh, hello? Okay, what's your name and why are you calling in? Yeah, okay. Noises. Do you accept requests? Do you accept requests? I've got a list of names I'd love to see in the obituaries. Oh, maybe you must make a sacrifice to us. A sacrifice? To... I, I mean... <laughs> what cheese dusted pretzels. Cheese dusted pretzels. I want cheese dusted pretzels. Or... I'll cut your face I'll off. Cut your... Okay, yeah. Goddamn kids. I'm cutting them off. Yeah, cut him off. We also want a mega goal. Fuck For off. For anyone just tuning in, we do, in fact, have an actual killer out on the streets tonight. Anyway, this next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with your doors and windows locked. Peggy, what the hell was that? Kids pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town? It's a thing. A thing? Oh, kids around here. They pull pranks pretending to be him. By pretending to be this whistling man character? They think it's funny. Damn. But it's not. It's not funny at all. And there's no chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie... No, that... Christ. Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. We already have another caller on the line. Let's do this. Hello. Hello. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. What? I, I dialed 911. I need the sheriff right away. Okay, right. Well, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. Welcome back. What's your name and what's your trouble? That is a big and my group. name is Sandra Sharp and I need the cops now. Uh, well, unfortunately the sheriff is dead, my dude. I'm sorry, Sandra, but the sheriff is dead. We're trying to get okay. help in from Henderson now. What? God. Listen, you've got yeah. help me then. I drove to the edge of town for a jazz run and now some psycho dressed like the whistling man is after me, knife in hand. Oh God, it's actually happening. Um... Where are you now? Where are you now? Did you escape to somewhere safe? Oh, I did, baby. I jazz ran all the way to my car and nothing flat. But I dropped my key somewhere along the way. So I've got a place to hide, but I can't get moving. Uh, is there anywhere else you can go? Is there anywhere else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby? Oh, I'm not going back out there. I... Uh. Engine without the keys, and you're gonna have to help me. 
Wait, okay. wait, wait, I don't. If it helps, I've got a toolkit buried beneath my spare sweatbands. I'll call you back when I find it. Okay. You're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Hosted by me, Forrest Nash, your friendly neighborhood radio host, mechanic, and savior. Sit tight while the record spins, folks. This one goes out to you, Sandra. Doesn't the station have a show about cars? The Tamora Twins or something. Timberline Twins talk motors. Yeah. yeah. You know they're not even brothers. Really? Damn. They look the same, though. I know, but they're not even related. It's weird. I asked them about it once, and they got really sweaty and defensive. Anyway, go see what you can find. The offices are out the door and down the hall. Okay, okay, okay. Ugh. Uh, creepy hour, top hits, from below, megabyte, vertigo. So many locked doors, so few keys. Uh, gibberish, uh, ball game shit. Ooh, cook off champion. Please enjoy a free sample of garlic bread. We've penned our la latest offers and deals on the outside of the box if you want to read them out on air. Grilling Spree's new offer is terrible and we think you should read our advert instead. P.S. A connoisseur like you needs to try three hour slow roasted pizza. What the fuck? Uh, Chalupa Cabra. Um, we can all agree that the flavor profiles of Chalupa Cabra are the best in town despite having a pricey option and offering no deals. The El Diablo Burrito has the best mouthfeel and those huevos rancheros are just excellent. Wow. For the 100th time, it's audio. It's an audio medium. People won't get its egg in excellent, idiot. Damn. Oh, thrilling spree ad. I've borrowed your car theft magazine. Those huevos rancheros aren't sitting uh, right. Gonna need something to read. Pray for me. Okay, so it's in the bathroom. What is this? I'm gonna bring this back to the office. Huevos. Huevos. I'm not getting in there tonight. Huevos. Man shadows. Is this it? Fix all cars. Uh, they use a screwdriver as a key, remove steering column, check the serial number, then strip and twist the following wires together. If there is a four before a three and no seven in the number, red and blue. If there is a six anywhere and do and it doesn't start with a five, green and brown. If there is a zero at the end and th three doesn't come before six, red and yellow. Do not touch the live wire. Brush the purple wire against the twisted wires from step three. If the radio turns on and won't turn off, cut with a pink wire. Do not cut the other pink wires. This will trigger an alarm. If the alarm is sounding, cut the triple braided green wire, uh, not the double braided green wire. Okay. You find anything? Yeah, I found a magazine about hot wiring cars. Well, that sounds perfect. Caller on line one. Thanks, Peggy. We're back with 189.16, The Scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? Oh, the creep's looking through the parking lot trying to find me. But I've got my tools, and I'm ready to get this hunk of junk moving. How do we start this, baby? Um, put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist. Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. Here goes, baby. I... I... Oh, screwdriver's too fat to fit. What next? 
Uh, unscrew the steering unscrew column. Unscrew the steering column. You're doing great. Okay. We can do this. There's a red wire, a blue wire, a yellow wire, a, a green wire, and a brown wire. Um, what's the serial number? What's the serial number on the steering column? The number is 576-894-320. And the three doesn't come before a six. Um, and it doesn't start with a five, so it's not the green and the brown. If there's a four before a three with no seven, okay, so it has to be red and yellow. Strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. All right, we take the red and the yellow and we twist and we turn. Oh, perfect. I also see pink and purple wire. What next? Um, strip the purple wire. Uh, and brush the purple wire against the twisted wires. Strip the purple wire and brush against the twisted wires. Okay, okay. We strip and we brush and... <gasps> and it's done, yeah, buddy! Fantastic work, baby! Anytime you want to come down to the jazz studio, you get in for free! Um... We did it! I almost can't believe it, but... Nice work, Forrest. I bet Sandra is positively jazzed that you answered her call. Oh my god. You bet I am, baby! Oh. Okay. We did it, Forrest! We sure did! Here comes another hit track that we're ja excited to share with you. And remember, if you're also having car troubles, then tune in to... Timberline Twins Talk Motors here on 189.16 Monday think to now Friday is the time to like advertise Take our other shows. Take it away, Forrest. I still can't believe this is happening. <sighs> right? My Gallows Creek didn't already have enough to worry about. What do you mean? Gallows Creek is a miserable place to live. Really? Miserable? Um, listen, it's nothing personal. It's nothing personal, Peggy, but it's not Chicago or Hell, it's not really anywhere. Well, I like it here. People are polite and, uh... Ass backwards. Don't be awful, Forrest. Come on, there must be something you like about this place. Uh, some folks have been okay. I guess some folks have been okay. You're not terrible after a while. Not terrible after a while? <laughs> High praise coming from Forrest Nash. You know what I mean, Peggy. I do. It's Forrest Nash for I think you're swell. Anyway, I hope the killer is done for the night and that Leslie gets back soon. Me too. Can we at least call off that stupid guess the scream contest now? Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. Yeah, I think it's a little bit not tasteful after everything considered. Caller on line one. Hello. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash. Host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911. Oh, he's kind of getting standard. into it now. Hey, Forrest, my name is Brian. Uh, uh, Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Ooh. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. What have you got to say about what's happening? I'm so happy that that Deputy Martinez survived. I've seen her a lot over the years down here at Ponty's Pizza. Oh, you did a really great job. And uh, as a thanks for all you did there, I just wanted to tell you that I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza. Oh, I want free pizza. Ponty's Pizza. Wow, Brian, that's really good of you. But you really don't have to, though. Oh, it's the least I can. And if you like it, well, you're in luck. Because we're always running great deals that'll have you eating for pennies. Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you, the pizza we have is to die for. Oh, 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 no. Yeah, that's a poor choice of words, my dude. Yeah, there's a killer on the loose. Um, yeah, that didn't, that didn't come out great. Yeah. 
That didn't come out great. I'm sorry for it. Well, I just hope I didn't put you or anyone else off coming on down to Ponty's Pizza. We've got a great special this weekend. Our famous beer and pizza deal. Wait a minute. Come on down to Ponty's Pizza this weekend. You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. God damn it. You're just calling in to advertise your shop. Peggy, hang up on him. Damn. Done. How tasteless. Oh, There's Before a fucking forget, killer on the loose. It's only time we played a paid ad. Now, a word from our sponsors. You know how to play an ad, right? Yes, I know how to play an ad. I'm not stupid. Sure. <laughs> Great party, man. <laughs> Thanks. Can I grab another beer? Hey, sure thing. Let me grab you one out of the fridge. Oh, no. We're out of beer. What am I going to do? The party is going to be over. It's the grill oh reaper. Grilling spree will give you a oh my god. Of beer of I hate this. Tuesday. Say what? That's right. Order a meal deal from us and you'll get a free six pack of beer of Gallus High Wind. Oh my a free god. six pack? Righteous. You heard me. Six beers if Gallus High wins. Sounds like you've already had enough beers. <laughs> I hope we murder them. <laughs> me too, Bill. Oh. Me too. I think all of these Come murder jokes are very uh, five, not five, tasteful. Five, four, nine, eight, three, three, five. We've got barbecue you'll die for. I don't think it's very tasteful considering. Yeah. Do you know what the Grill Reaper's favorite grilling spree order is? Uh, I have a feeling you're going to tell me. Spare ribs. Uh, just get me back on the air. I hate that. And we're back. We got a caller. You know what to do. All right. Caller on nine, oh, line one. Welcome to the Scream with me. Forrest Nash. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. Oh. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs oh. at Forrest Nash. I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. What? God, another um, one? Leslie left me in Leslie's charge. She's driving to Henderson right now. She left me in charge. Why on earth is Leslie? Oh, never mind. Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. Sheriff Matthews is dead. Did you witness the incident? Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? Oh my god. I can cite you as an anonymous source. If that's We're live on We're air. live on the air. Anything we say can and will be broadcast. There's obviously a lot more going on than I know. Yeah, you, there's a lot happening tonight. You said someone broke in. That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot kid just broke in dressed as the whistling man. <laughs> they get worse every year. Uh, this Punk wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye Damn. when Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. But I was there. I covered it. Yeah, and now he's back. Maurice, I don't know what's going on, but he's back. The whistling man is back. Don't be an ass, Nash. Every year this happens. They think it's funny. Not a big deal, old man. But they didn't live through the terror 30 years ago. Anyway, I know for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney is I dead. Know. I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor, but if he killed Sheriff Matthews... Where are you now? Got security cameras all around the building. Can watch them on any TV setting. There's a set in the board. You can get out of there? Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Ah, I sure as shit hope so, kid. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinets, blocking the stairs. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out. That's right. Hmm. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. All we can do from here is... Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? They'd have a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? Mm. In different rooms, with different extensions. So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. And buy Maurice time. Buy Maurice time. That could work. Exactly. It's worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. Yeah, sorry, Maurice. Peggy and I were just trying to figure out... You realize how stupid that plan sounds, right? Damn. For that to be successful, you're gonna need every phone extension, plus a plan of the entire office floor, all delivered while the killer is en route. Thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. Uh, okay. You passing that yeah. over? You don't think the killer got him, do you? Mr. Russell. I'm here. Freak's going to be here any second, too. Go check your fax machine. Don't let me down. 
Where's Tell the fax, the fax machine? machine is again, Peggy? The fax machine's in the office on the other side of the hall. Thanks, Peggy. Be right back. Okay. Go to the office on the other end of the hall. Grab the fax from the machine. This must be it. Okay. Wait, does it say where he's at? Hey, did you get the fax? E. Yes, I have. Mr. Russell, you still with us? I am. Get my fax? Yeah. Yeah. I got it right here. I knew you could at least manage that. Damn, this okay, guy's so folks, rude. We're back uh... on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him avoid the whistling man. Here's the situation. Whistling man searched every room in the hall up to the boardroom. He's in the office next door. Mm. It's now or never. His plan of yours better work. I'm ready on my end, Forrest. Again, we want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number and then move Maurice somewhere safe. So... What extension should I call? Uh, editor's office. Call the editor's office. The extension is 03. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? Mm. Um, he searched every office up to the boardroom. Um, go. On second thought, let's, uh, let's second call thought, a different let's room. Let's dial another room. Let's dial another- Boy! We're wasting time! He's right, Forrest. I can get another number ready, but we probably won't get to change our minds again. Where do you want me to call? Um, call the boardroom. Call the boardroom. The extension is 04. The boardroom? Don't be a horse's ass! Forrest, this is no time for jokes. Where should I call? Fine, editor's office. Call the editor's office. The extension is 03. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? Um, archives, I guess. You're moving to the archives. Yeah, that makes sense. Go somewhere he's already checked. Not bad, Nash. I'm ready to place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? Make the call. Yes, sir. I can't believe it. He's actually heading to my office. Good plan. It was all Peggy's idea. Credit goes to her. Ah, uh, don't mention it. Coast is clear. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Making my move. I'll call when I get there. Do you think he'll make it okay? Let's hope. I'm sure he'll be fine. But now what do we do? We gotta find some way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I don't think calling the whistling man is gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. We gotta think of something else. Yeah, maybe we could call incoming. You ready? Yeah. Ready as I'll ever be. I put him through. Mr. Russell, are you there? I am. I don't think he saw me. Gotta give you credit for that. But I'm not out of the woods yet. Uh, right. Let's... Hold on. I'm saving game. Review where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs, which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. I can move the furniture out of the way. Not quickly. Can you lock him in a room? Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Damn fire regulations. Say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. Fuck. He'd be able to get out just as soon as. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. I got it. A secret archive through my office where we keep our most sensitive records. Ooh, a secret archive? Reggie would love that. What have you got back there? Juicy secrets about outer space? Now's not the time, Peggy. Peggy, I don't think now's the time to be playing around like that. You're right. Sorry, Forrest. Kids, we're in the big time now. I've got it all figured out. The secret archive. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only the outside. You can't break out. You can get him in there. And I lock him in. We can catch the son of a gun. Exactly. Oh my god. Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. So should I call the secret archive then? The archive is a room for secrets. Not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. We're gonna need to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? Is there a TV in is there? Is there a TV in that room? Maybe that could draw him in. <clears throat> Ah, of course. I turn it up, he comes in, and I get my head chopped off. Damn. Think of something else. Mm, what about a radio? Maybe we could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret archives. Are there no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but... What is it? A sports reporter. Hawk. He has a little portable radio he never turns off. Um, is it still in the office? That might be what we need then. Is his portable radio still there? It should be. What he calls his work radio it should be here in the archives, actually. Let me just take a peek around. Great job, Forrest. 
Looks like you picked the perfect place. Let's do congratulations yeah, later. Yet. Let's congratulate ourselves later. I found the radio. It's right where I thought it would. It's all coming together. I'm just going to turn it on quickly, make sure it's still got some juice. Turn the Please volume turn down. Turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, Nash. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. The radio works. If I make it out alive, Hopkins might just get that day off he wanted. Eh, he's earned it. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. Ah, oh, God damn it! If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead! You just- oh. Set it to our radio station. But wait! We're the radio! Yeah. We can just be quiet until you're ready. If you can do that, then yeah. Sure. 189.16. I know that's your station number, but a good editor always double checks. Confirm that. 189.16, The Scream. Gallows Creek's best and only phone in talk show with me, Force Nash. And me, Peggy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I've got the radio on silent, but I'm tuned in. I just need to get to my office. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Where should we send the killer? Mm, call the kitchen. Call the kitchen. The extension is 02. That could work. The kitchen is far away from the editor's office, but the killer searched it before. Let me think again. Let me have a think again. What about the boardroom? Call the boardroom. The extension is 04. That might work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office, but we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Yeah, he hasn't checked it yet, so he doesn't know what's in there. Um, but you will have to sprint for it, I think. I'm sure. Make the call. Okay, calling the boardroom now. He's on the move. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? I'm gonna call the killer a jackass. I'll just call. The whistling man a jackass. That'll get his attention. That's the plan, right? <laughs> sure is. Ooh, call coming in. Here we go. I'm here. Radio set up in the secret archive. Just give me the signal, and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? I, uh, good question. It's under my desk, but uh, I can see under it. I've got a big cabin, but uh, that'll take me a second to get into. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. There's the secret archive itself, but uh, that's where the kill is. I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. Mm. Your judgment has kept me alive Ooh. so far, Nash. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Don't trust me on this, bro. You'd have to go past the killer to get to the cubicles. Cabinet. Hide in your cabinet. Well, I know it takes them a while to get in there, it. but... I'm going to go turn the radio up to full blast now. Don't say anything until I've had time to hide. Got it? Yep. We know the plan. You can trust us. Here we go. I think it should be safe now, Forrest. Hey, whistling man. Jackass. You think you're something special, huh? Well, guess what, pal? You got another thing coming. <laughs> Listeners, this is Forrest Nash of 189.16, The Scream. And if you've just tuned in... See you in hell, kid! Ha <laughs> ha! We've just locked up The Whistling Man. Haha! <laughs> we did it! I can't believe that actually worked! Is there ever any Come on, doubt? Maurice, is there ever any doubt? Thank God, it's over. I'll be off now. Gotta get out of here. Write up a few notes. Call a few friends. I feel safer waiting for the cops to come grab this freak with some company. Hey, maybe you and me could do an interview tomorrow for the Gallows Reporter. I'll think about it. Let's see what tomorrow brings. I'll take that as a yes. Talk to you soon. Bye, Maurice. There we are, folks. The Whistling Man is locked up. Let's all take a deep breath. And play some killer tunes. Oh my god, that is poor taste. That is poor taste, Peggy. It's funky, it's groovy, it's Stab in the Twilight by Knife and Easy. Looks like the night should be pretty easy from here on out. Right? Thank god that's over. Yeah, no, that's obviously not over. I guess we got some downtime over. now. I could ask you some questions to kill the time. You're gonna interview me. You sure about that? You're not so scary. Besides, we've been working together like a week now, and you're still all shrouded in mystery. <sighs> sure, what do you want to know? All right, shoot. What do you want to know? 
Question one. Tell me about your family. What? <laughs> Come on, Peggy. That, that's too general. Okay. Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? Nope. Too no, that's specific. too specific. Too specific? I... Do you have any siblings? I don't. I'm an only child, and my folks are dead. Oh, rip. I'm sorry, Forrest. Um, what did- you didn't I'm do sorry, anything. why? Did you do it? Of course not! I only- I'm just messing with you. Anyway, what about you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? I thought I was asking the questions. You were. I'm just making conversation now. Oh, my folks went the same way as yours. What happened? Oh, what happened there? My dad walked out when I was about 13. He'd been a wreck for a while. Then he got himself into a wreck, and, well, that was Dad. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. She wanted to forget Dad so bad, she even made me take my stepdad's last name. Aww. So I'm Peggy Weaver now. Anyway, Mr. Weaver got sick one day, and my mom didn't last long after he went. I'm sorry to hear that, Peg. Don't call me Peg. Yeah, no, sorry. Uh, I was just... Trying to be... Trying to it's be okay, friendly. I know. I'm sorry. I'm defensive about that name. Any siblings? Funny you mention that now. No. Not anymore. Damn, is everyone dead? I had a sister, but I haven't seen her since before my dad. Hold on. Someone just rang the door buzzer. What on earth could someone want at this hour? I don't know. Do you want to go check it out? You sure you don't want to go? I can't leave the booth while we're on air. One of Reggie's KFAM regulations. I'll pass you the key to the stairs. Okay. Gee, thanks, Peggy. The buzzer's on the front door. Well, we uh, told him where we okay. were. Down to the first floor, then check the door. So he is going to fucking murder us. Wow, that was ominous. A play on air okay what is this i'm screwed hello gallows creek time to pay the price time to pay for life time to sit there I will punish you. Oh. oh. I'm going to enjoy this. I did not enjoy that. What the hell was that? We're still on air. Say something. Uh, folks, be careful. The, oh, <clears throat> folks, the tape you just heard was passed through our door only moments ago. I don't know how or why that came through our door with the killer locked up, but be careful, Gallows Creek. Stay home and stay safe. Give us a call if you need help. You can get us on 911. Fuck, dude. Hey, we had a call come in. Um, that's cool, but I've run out of time for today. I would very much like to play this again in the future, though. It is super neat. We have a call waiting. If you guys liked the game and you would like to see more of it, uh, let me know in the comments below. I'll have a link to the game so you guys can get it yourself if you want. And fuck, I forgot what button to press because I'm not good at radio or anything. Um, and you have been watching Baby Bad B. And if you like what you've seen here, uh, like, comment, and subscribe to help out the channel. And I'll see you next time. Wah. Thank you.